Well, hello, goody people! Today, I come to you with another review. Surprise? I don't think so. This time, it's gonna be a review of Area D. Again, because it's a good series, I love it. But okay, uh, this is chapter 85. Yeah. So, this chapter basically starts up, you know, where the last chapter ended off with a bunch, with a sculptor. Uh, about God uh, sculptor. That's yeah. That's how you pronounce it. I think. Yeah, where he's fleeing from the fight with G with with Ying. But Ying, ah, yeah, fuck. Why is why is it so hard to pronounce the name? Like honestly, I'm so easily I, I can so easily pronounce it on, on, on other occasions, but this time I can't. Let's just say Kazaragi. Yeah, yeah that's that's a bit more easier right now. Where he's running and fleeing from Kazaragi because Kazaragi wants to steal his ability so he can turn everyone that's trapped in the walls back to normal. So yeah, and he's just panicking, running in fear, trembling, just going through walls everywhere, and you know, Kasaragi is just right behind him using shadow play, just chasing after him, and just like, he's in torment, he's just in tears, uh, the sculptor, just like, trying to find ways to just get rid of him in a sense, like, you know, if, you know, uh, you know uh, lose him. Yeah, and <laughs> he ends up going into this room that, uh, is bacon and everything, or we assume to, and then uh, Kasaragi goes after him in that room. Then he grabs his grabs his arm, and then he takes his ability. So we assume because that's not exactly what happened. He did grab somebody's arm and take their ability, but it ended up not being the sculptor. It ended up being Siro. Ended up being Siro, and uh, yeah, and, and that overwrote uh, the shadow play ability that he had previously, and now Sculptor was able to trap him once again, which that was like bum, a huge bummer, but, and then, uh, then, uh, in Sir, then Ciro basically says, there are better ways, or like, to, uh, the exact words, to take care of this matter, more efficient ways, or whatever, he takes out a knife and show, and, and then, and then Sculptor goes like, oh, that's perfect, hand it over here, I want to use it on him, and <laughs> he's about to use it on, you know, and just, you know, kill, kill Kasaragi, because Kasaragi's trapped and everything, and then from behind, Lord surprise, Ciro stabs him straight up in the, in the, the stomach region from behind, and yeah, and then, and then basically he's like, what are you doing, Ciro, I thought we were comrades, and then Ciro goes like, I told you that, or no, but before that, he says, I, I figured that your ability wouldn't be activated, or you were holding an object like a knife, at the very least, and yeah, and, that, and then 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 Ciro says like, uh, "I told you there were more efficient ways to take care of this," and he straight up goes with his hand blade that he took out because he can you know Ciro has the ability to make his body parts into blades in a sense. It's it's a little bit similar to Tatara's Tatara's because uh, but Tatara is diamond like diamond skin, diamond, diamond blade stuff. He can turn himself into uh, you know. Blades, not to mention he has a team on his arsenal of blades that we've seen before in the past. But yeah, uh, going through that, uh, yeah, he stabs him straight up in the stomach region. Then after, then he wants one when he's gonna finish him off. He goes upwards through him and goes through his head like he goes from behind. He kills the motherfucker in. It's, he kills him like so brutal and just like oh shit. If this were anything, if, if this is in a sense was censored a little bit in, the, in that sense, because even though we know what happened, if this was a Saiyan instead of a straight up showing, he his head would have come up in two and split apart, and that would have been amazing. But still, the visual aspect of that we got that with his head still being in place, but we knowing so that he has been cut in half, you know, from the uh, from the upper torso from the from his uh. From his stomach region, from behind to upwards, you know, that's it's, oh shit. But yeah, that happens. Then Kazuragi gets extremely pissed and everything because he kills his own comrade and he, you know, he has a, a, quite a love and attachment to friends that he's made along the way and friends that he has. So he, he, whenever somebody, you know, whenever the Uber Citizen Union does that or something in that manner, or somebody just takes away the life of a friend, they Thought they were, you know, he gets pissed. You know, he's that typical good guy, you know. But we still love the character, anyways, because he's got a lot of dark history in his past. 
and he, well, which Dark History, not to mention, there's a, a bunch of qualities of love and public carriage, anyways. But yeah, uh, that happens. Then we skip to a scene with Al, and then apparently he had all this plan because Zero was working in that sense for him, you know, and so he can trap uh, Kesaragi. And then he, and then Al says, like, uh, uh, can get this through your thick skull, Gene Kazaragi. You cannot change what is happening. And it's like it's 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 kind of interesting you know, when he says that. Like it's, it's like, but <laughs> everyone, but the hero always has to defy the villain. So you know what's gonna happen. No matter how many times the the villain gets the hero, the hero comes back and gets him back. You know, it's always like that. After that, we have a scene with uh, where we're back in the. The the guards district and everything, and uh, we have a scene with uh, with Satoru, which, which really quick I completely forgot the character's name, even though I love him so much, because like it's been a while since we've seen him and everything, and it's, 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 it's like you tend to forget some certain things or certain names if you don't see a character for a while, and also whenever they have a name that you sometimes have problems with, so yeah, but yeah, uh, if he his name wasn't mentioned in this whole chapter, I would have been like, oh fuck, I can't, you know, I would have to look it up or something. To make my review and everything, but yeah, yeah, he's in the guard district, uh, just roaming around because he's looking for 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 Gasaragi because you know he had because he summoned him urgently because he needs his help to you know solve all the chaos that's currently happening there and everything, and yeah, uh, uh, let's see, yeah, he stumbles upon uh one of the family members of the guards that is trapped in the walls thanks to uh the sculptor's ability and everything. And then he, we see prisoners tormenting that uh, that 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 family member, that that woman, and she's saying, "Please, please, stop! Help me, somebody!" Because you know they're they're tormenting her, everything. And she simply and uh, then uh, Satoru comes out and says, "Stop!" He yells out and everything, and every and the the guys the prisoners respond to him with like, "Do you know this is a family member of the guards that violently assaulted us? We're just taking revenge on them for that." Is, do you have a problem with that? And then he replies with, I wouldn't have a problem with this if this was just simple revenge. But what you're doing is can no longer be considered revenge. T uh, t uh, attacking somebody who can't even fight back is it's just as bad or worse, or is just as bad as what the guards did to torment them. And he takes out the bandages and everything, and he uses his his uh his watchmaker to really quick to just destroy the wall surrounding them, so they can so the wall can collapse on top of them and everything. And it's really cool how he has that one. Well, he's got a couple, but so like those badass moments when he's you know previously he, he's been so wimpy and everything. He's been shown to be like that and everything. It's really cool to just he, see his badass moments when they happen because they're great. Uh, then after that, we you know he 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 uses his ability to that and he goes retreat in a comic way. It's it's funny how the comedy aspects in this manga are so good when you know characters how they're all well drawn and everything. This last chapter was so fun with Ryu and just her her shameless show of her tits everywhere and everything because that's how she is. And Enki just being, you know, flustered and just like embarrassed by seeing Kazaragi naked and all that stuff in the guard and everything. But, you know, so that's last chapter. This chapter, yeah, that happens. And, uh, uh, but really quick, I want to touch on uh, Satoru because it, he has the ability to, on one hand, destroy things. Why wouldn't he have on his other hand the ability, because he only uses one hand in particular, for this, for his watchmaker ability, to destroy stuff? Why wouldn't he have, on the other hand, particularly the ability to return stuff, reconstruct stuff once again? Maybe that's something that in the future we'll explore and that he'll learn to use that ability. In a sense, it's similar to Full Metal Alchemist's scar, when in one arm, the tattoo mark and everything, he had the ability to deassemble the, the, the materials in, you know, in, in sense of alchemy and everything. But in the other hand, later on, he had the ability to reconstruct stuff. So it's kind of similar to that, and, and I I would like for the character to later on use that ability because it could be extremely useful. It, it could turn him way more badass, like immediately, I'd say. But yeah, that happens. The guys chase out uh, the prisoners, chase after Satoru. But before that, uh, apparently uh, we see Tatara, uh, uh, Tatara, uh, yeah, Tatara. Uh, we see him spotting Satoru and says. Isn't that the, the 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 kid that always hangs around with Kasaragi? And then uh, he just says, 
oh no chicken shit idiot that just like uh, doesn't have the you know isn't strong enough shouldn't shouldn't meddle with other people's businesses and everything. After that we have uh another we we the prisoners catch up to Satoru and just catch catch him and they're about to kill him, but out of nowhere, not really all that surprising because come on, it's it's you know we wouldn't show him in the first place if he wasn't gonna do anything to begin with. But yeah, uh, stop that! I just comes out with his fucking diamond ass humongous blade and steps in. It's like, nope, you're not killing the bat, you're not killing the the, the brat and everything. And yeah, that, that was really cool. But it was like, a bit predictable and expected. This was a really cool, like fast chapter. Not much progression or anything happened, but it was enjoyable. So I appreciated for that for that aspect of it. And yeah, I can't wait for the next chapter because I'm so excited. But like also speaking about Tadara really quick before I you know, I end this, it's like he's the like the, the the bad guy at the beginning that you know in a lot of animes and other stuff we we see we don't quite like he gets beat up a couple of times and then he turns into a good guy like I don't mind that you know chem that uh what do you, what do you call it that uh that format because it's been done before and I'm okay with it because a lot of good characters have come out from it but it's like. Like I've I've ended up loving a lot of those characters, you know, because of so I think. But Tadara just looks like the character. Like honestly, like I'm not gonna hate him anymore because he's not gonna be that bad of a character anymore. But I'm not gonna love him like others. Just saying, because him as a person, his character designs is not to my liking. He has a cool ability, but still, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's about it. What happened? I love this chapter a lot. I'm gonna rate it a uh, seven. Basically, a C in the sense. Because it wasn't all that much, and that much progression happened. But I enjoyed it quite fondly. And, uh, yeah, I can't wait for the next chapter. So I guess with that said, I'll see you soon. Hopefully with something new.